And there is the defending champ, Brooks Curry, trying to kind of turn around his conference championship here in College Station, the defending champ. And Max Berg, who dropped almost a second earlier today, sophomore from France. He is now in his first championship final. There is a look at Jordan Crooks, who has won gold in the 53, silver in the 100 fly. And he is becoming now one of the emerging stars in our sport. And Leendo's had a tremendous meet as well for the Florida Gators. Yeah, rubber game in the match here. <laughs> Brooks, the 50, 17-9, by the way. Leendo came back and won the 100 fly. They both got second to each other in those respective events. Leendo looking right at yes, Crooks. he is, isn't he? And Crooks straight ahead. Blocking it all out. Yeah, straight ahead. Oh, this... This is what everybody's yeah. been looking for. This race right here should be one for the ages. Take your marks. All right, lane one in the bottom, lane eight in the top. Focus your eyes on four and five. Leendo of Florida in four, Crooks of Tennessee in five. And they flip simultaneous after the first 25. Yeah, only two, only one man has ever broken 40 seconds. That's Caleb Dressel. Only two have broken 18 in the 50. You're looking at one of them, Crooks and Dressel. 19-6 on the way out for Leendo. He had the slight lead over Crooks. The early edge to Leendo. Crooks right alongside, along with Santos coming for home. And here comes Crooks in lane five. Can Leendo run him down? Here's the touch. It is Crooks by five one hundreds over Leendo in a 41-19. Crooks was the fastest in America coming into the championships, off by two one hundreds of a second as he claims gold. Wow. It, it lived up to everything, didn't it? I mean, everything you wanted to see in a race, in a classic duel, it did that and more. And, and what a field. I mean, Brooks Curry was fifth, and he was 41-8. Here they are right there. Both of them get off the block so well. Listen, this is, you, you set it up, Patrick. This is going to be a rivalry that's going to continue, not only at the collegiate level, but I think on the world level. I think you're looking at two guys that might just be vying for gold when wow. we get to Paris next summer. Last turn, Leendo still had it. But it just seemed like Crooks was building, building. They both popped up well. Look at the turnover that Crooks had, that straight arm. Perfect finish at the end. Five one hundredths of a second, the difference. And from above, you can see again how close these guys were. They've been like this all week long. And there are the results. Crooks. Takes down his second gold of the week, going gold in the 53. Leendo is right on his heels, and Crooks edges out Leendo again. And he is down on the deck with Elizabeth Beisel. Jordan Crooks, 41-1, fastest time in the NCAA this year. Coming into such a highly contested race, one of the most anticipated we've had this weekend. What do you do to stay in your own head and to just focus on yourself before something like this? Take a moment, no rush. This is a fun race. Really great competition. All these boys did an amazing job, and it's really inspiring, every last one of them. You know, I have an amazing team. Lots of support. Coaches are great. I'm just really grateful to you know, be able to experience this again. You talk about your Tennessee teammates. What do they mean to you, and how much do they push you every single day in practice? A lot. I'm really grateful to be a part of the team. I'm really thankful that I'm able to train with a lot of these boys. Lady Vols, the coaches, every last one of them. They mean a lot to me. And once again, just really grateful to be a part of it. Jordan, congratulations. Thank you. Boy, he has a supernova future, does he not? Jordan Crooks claiming the men's 100-yard freestyle. First volunteer to win the race in 27 years. Jordan Crooks, second.